In a world of hot challenges, can one man do what most likely has never been done before and combine four of them to wear the capsaicin crown of glory? Find out tonight on the vodcast. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Man, it has been a while since we've sat down like this, has it not? And what are we getting ourselves into today? Let me tell you, it's something I'm not very excited about. And uh, I guess we should just dive right into it. So what I'm thinking is I'll take the chocolate, I'll put it on the bottom, and then I'll put a chip on top of that. I'll put the Apollo sauce on that and put the little gummy bear on top. Does that sound like a good plan? Or we could just review these uh, strawberry cheesecake Oreos that I got in the mail today. I ain't doing that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I did this. I did this. These things nearly killed me. I still have to do these. I'm not doing them all together. You'd be crazy if you think I'm going to do all of these together. You got to be out of your minds. I'm telling you. What are you looking at? Also, remember when I told you I wasn't going to wear uh, sleeveless shirts until I was jacked? Well, check this out. Somebody got jacked. No, I didn't get jacked, but it is fucking hot as hell in this office. I haven't run all these lights or set up all the cameras like I've done like this in a while. So it's pretty hot in here. We are here for this. I'll be completely honest with you. I kind of lured you into this and I apologize if you don't like that. If you think if you're angry that I'm not going to do this, maybe you should reflect on yourself for just a moment and be like, that man would have gone through so much pain if he had done what he had claimed he was going to do. And I didn't really claim I was going to do, you know, it, it was the title is a question. I'm not fooling around here. Will Jason Oliver of the podcast be able to do the four hot challenge? Here's your answer. No, <laughs> not a chance in hell. If these hadn't been sent to me by friends and, and fans of the show, then I wouldn't be doing those either. But you guys seem to like to see me burn. Well, today I'm not going to burn, but today we're going to get into the Oreo cheesecakes. Uh, so I've been eyeballing the uh, Oreo strawberry cheesecake. Sorry. Uh, I've been eyeballing these on Amazon for quite a while now. There's a few Oreo products that I have sitting in my basket just waiting to be reviewed. And these finally came down to a very reasonable price. I think with it was free shipping and I think it was like five bucks or something like that, which is, is pretty excessive for something this size and only getting what, maybe like 10 Oreos, 12. I don't know but they're a flavor we've never tried before. And it's not easy to get your hands on these. So, well, I guess, I guess it kind of is because I did, but it's been a while. Like I haven't had a chance to get my hands on these in a long time because I wasn't willing to pay seven, $8, whatever it was they wanted for this five bucks. Okay. All right, let's, let's give them the first smell. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So, um, not exactly a chocolate covered strawberry, but there's a lot of strawberry in there and it reminds me of something. It's, it's the old factory senses are kicking in, rushing into the memories here. I can't tell you what it is. I, I know I've smelled something like this before, but, um, they smell delicious. Let's see what they look like. No, yeah, they're in rough shape. I, I expected them to not be in the greatest of shape. That one seems like it's pretty much intact. Um, I'm going to give you a little twist test over here today. Here we go. Not very good. Not a lot of cream either. Look at the minimal amount of cream here. Man, that strawberry and chocolate together, or the cocoa and the strawberry together are bringing me back. It just, it's like the memory is like gone. It's like the, you have a memory connected to the smell, but we can't access the file because you're stupid. All right, let's try one of these. Oh, that cookie is brittle. Mmm, <laughs> wow. Wow, you don't need a lot of cream. That cream packs a punch and it's delicious. It doesn't even taste like a lot of times with Oreos, the cream inside them, whatever chemical process they use to create the flavors has this little side effect of putting this chemical flavor in with the flavor that you're not, you don't want it there. Or it ends up like waxy on your mouth or something. This is just good. Hmm. Hmm. Now, the incredibly disappointing thing is the fact that you can't buy these anywhere except for Amazon for five bucks a pack. And I'm not going to do that. Let's try it in milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Holy shit. 
been a while since something tasted better in milk than it did on its own. That is so goddamn good. That is D fucking licious. I would say as far as the chocolate cocoa Oreo cookies ago, that's my favorite flavor. I, I can't I can't not give them a 10. These are the best Oreos next to the toasted coconut ones that I have ever tasted. They have such a unique and flavorful bang to them. I would highly recommend get on Amazon.com. If you're not a member of Prime, you could always join Prime and you'll get the shipping for free. I'm not a sponsor or anything, but I just want to let you know. If you want them, they have them right now. I think they went back up. I think they're $5.99 right now. So if you want to wait it out, you can. But I've seen these things go up to about $8.99. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There you have it. Well, I assume you guys weren't expecting a 10 from an Oreo cookie from me today, but you got it. But what you didn't get is me trying all of these together. And it doesn't seem fair to me that I don't at least eat the gummy bear. So here we go. This is how the package came to. I'm just letting you know when it arrived. It wasn't like it arrived in anything different. It, it just came. And I've, if you watch videos of other people doing the reviews of these, you will see that most of the packages look like holy hell. You know what? I'm just going to go down the hatch, I think. Will Jason survive this challenge or will this be the end of our heroic host? Tune in tomorrow to find out. And as always, if you're loving watching these as much as we're loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time we put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment and always live in love. Never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you a little further on down the road. Boy, howdy. <laughs>